Hi, this is Russ Letterman from Denkmeyer Optical. I'm going to try to demonstrate using an iPhone, easier said than done, um, how we're going to collimate the Binotron 27 using the Collatron reticle. Now, the Collatron reticle has been threaded directly into the Bina viewer for those without a power switch, but typically folks have a power switch, so we would remove this spacer and not use it, and then the Collatron ring would thread directly into the power switch. The power switch arms are always kept in the out position when collimating. Now, as far as the eyepiece holders go, we've got our D21s loaded in. This upper ring clamps down on the D21s, making them secure. This is the focusing diopter, and this is our collatron ring. Your Bina viewer is collimated by yours truly right here, and I do collimate them to a very high degree. They should go out beautifully collimated and reach you beautifully collimated. If and when you want to try to collimate the Bina viewer yourself with the collatron reticle, what you do is you loosen these. Now, I set them pretty tight with um, something called the collatron tool. You insert it into this hole and turn it counterclockwise and just make sure that it's snug. But because I collimate them and I want them to go out very well collimated, I snug these rings fairly tight. So you may have to use the tool to just give it a quick counterclockwise turn to just loosen it. You don't want to make the ring so loose that the eyepiece holder slides in a 360 degree flat plane too easily and it could even tilt if you make these too loose. So you want them finger tight snug and you're going to look at the position of the reticle target. It should be just inside the field of view through the eyepiece vertical at 12 o'clock. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. I'm going to try my best here to to uh, focus in with my iPhone, and um, there you see that plus sign. It is at the very edge of the field, and it's just being cut off just a little. Now, that's the left eyepiece holder. You would want the right eyepiece holder to show that reticle in the identical position. And um, can we do it? There you go. Just cut off a little, the top of that white circle with the plus sign is just cut off a little. So this represents very nice collimation, good high degree of collimation. You want to also look at the horizontal at 3 o'clock um, and try to move those holders so that both vertical and horizontal in right and left eyepieces show an identically placed target. The way, the way to move the reticle is you loosen up this collatron ring. Let me try to do this while I'm holding this phone. There we go. Okay. Here's, here's the collatron ring that's been loosened. I want to snug it. And once I get it snug, I should be able to, with my index finger, push toward me. With my thumb, push away. You can even hear it click a little. You can see that movement. Look at that movement. See? Now, I can move it in a flat plane, 360 degrees. I'm going to keep this holder tight, and, and you know, the target will be fixed there, and we just want to place the target in the same identical perspective for vertical at 12 o'clock and horizontal at 3 o'clock as it is in the right eyepiece holder. If for some reason you don't have the range, then you've got to loosen this too and move them both simultaneously or one at a time and uh, just make sure that the targets look the same. You don't want to loosen these too much because as you tighten them, unfortunately and there's always a little glitch, the, um, the target will relocate very slightly. So when we snug these, we want to basically put this in and just snug them just, just a slight amount. That's so that they don't come loose too easily. And really, using this tool is totally optional. Once you get good at collimating, then you can do it in under one minute. So finger pressure is going to be adequate. I use the tool because I'm collimating your Binotron 27. I know it's going to go out perfect, and it's likely going to stay that way. But, you know, if you're at a star party and people are setting the interpupillary this way and putting pressure on the holders, they could produce some movement. And you may have an eyepiece pair that you really like, but they're not matched like ours. Our D21s and D14s are matched in focal length, 
to the one one hundredth of a millimeter. Now, not everybody is doing that. So if you have a favorite pair of eyepieces and, and you can see that the reticle is showing that they're slightly off, you can quickly adjust your holders to compensate and those eyepieces will be perfectly collimated. So thanks a lot and thanks for listening.